The developing world is, for many people, poor, desolate, and hungry. Millions of people struggle to survive in deforested and polluted landscapes, stricken by poverty and violence. Political instabilities and environmental catastrophes are creating ever-increasing populations of displaced people, and the daily lives of these poorest of the poor are drastically shaped by the increasing scarcity of cooking fuel. Women risk rape and humiliation as they are forced to walk extremely long distances to gather heavy bundles of wood fuel for cooking in an effort to keep their families alive. Dirty and smoky cook fires are burned daily inside hundreds of millions of homes throughout the third world, subjecting women and children to severe burns and life-threatening pollution. Countless people, mostly women and children, suffer from a host of diseases caused by smoke inhalation. One study in Central America discovered that children exposed to cook fire smoke were breathing the equivalent of three packs of cigarettes a day. These children rarely get medical treatment. Today, half of humanity, over three billion people, prepare their food on biomass fires. Impacts of these fires on global warming, deforestation, environmental degradation and human health make the design and development of vast numbers of improved cooking technologies a critical and global human issue. Scientists at Aprovecho Research Center have been working on these problems for over 25 years and today more than ever we're proud to offer some viable and powerful solutions. In 1982, Aprovecho's technical director Dr. Larry Winniarski developed these 10 design principles for the rocket stove. This breakthrough changed the global landscape of stove building and revolutionized the design of clean and efficient cookstoves. Since the invention of the rocket stove, Aprovecho consultants have collaborated on more than 170 stove projects in 60 countries, building millions of improved cookstoves along the way. Projects like this one in Malawi, like this one in Nigeria, or like this one in Uganda, have resulted in the development of better and better stoves as part of the cooperative global effort to solve the current environmental and health crisis. Aprovecho was the 2009 International Award winner of the prestigious Ashton Award, presented by Prince Charles for the development and production of the Stovetech stove. Years of development at Aprovecho have also produced the super-efficient 60-liter institutional stove. We designed the 60-liter stove to meet the needs of poor people who rely on institutional settings for their food security. Schools, orphanages, and refugee camps of various kinds are where millions of people get most of their food, and where mountains of fuel wood are burned every day to prepare it. The 60-liter stove represents 25 years of development of rocket stove principles into an advanced design cooking machine. The 60-liter stove is portable, has interchangeable parts, is insulated for better heat transfer and user safety, is very stable and is virtually tip-proof. The surface of the stove remains cool enough to touch, even when the combustion chamber reaches its maximum of 1100 degrees centigrade. Rocket stoves focus the energy of a small, very hot fire directly into the pot of food being cooked. The 60-liter stove combines the combustion efficiency of a precisely built rocket combustion chamber with advanced heat transfer principles. The result is a stove that burns 75 to 90 percent less wood than an open fire and which reduces carbon monoxide and particulate matter by almost 90 percent. The super hot fire literally burns up the smoke and when this stove is lit there is no visible smoke. One 60-liter stove can reduce carbon dioxide emissions by approximately 30 tons per year. This is 2,000 grams of fuel, which is enough to bring a pot of food to a full boil and continue cooking for up to two hours. In a pilot project in Nigeria, three of these stoves now cook all the food needed for 1,200 students. Another breakthrough development has fitted a high-quality autoclave to this stove for sterilizing hospital instruments. Thousands of hospitals in the developing world desperately need this technology, which is now available from Aprovecho.
these stoves can and will save lives around the world. Aprovecho has developed an innovative method for mass producing these critically needed institutional stoves across the globe called Stove Factory in a Box. Stove Factory in a Box can build the 60 litre stove in the developing world using local labor while maintaining precision construction to within one millimeter tolerances. Aprovecho's development process is completed and it works. We developed this system with easily learned skills. In as little as six weeks of training, we can teach every step of building this stove. The tasks are mostly hand work with hand tools, and the process has minimized electricity needs. In fact, only two power tools are needed, and a factory can produce many stoves a day with only a small generator for power supply. The tools required are simple and high quality. Durable shop tools are provided with each factory. Our system of tools and custom jigs forces precision construction. Parts are laser cut to shape and then formed and installed in the shop. Using this method, each stove is made to the same high standards and parts are interchangeable. In our Oregon shop, we produce finished stoves and train people in stove construction. A small shop this size, about 1,200 square feet, or 130 square meters is adequate for production of five to ten stoves a day. We have sample stoves in ten countries and this year we're planning to put factories in Haiti, in Vanuatu, in Ghana and in Nigeria. And right now we're building 200 stoves for the UN World Food Program to take to Darfur. But this is just the beginning. The world needs tens of thousands of stoves like this. With your help we can transform the lives of women and children across the globe. Please help us. Please contact us.